everyone, welcome back to Knit and Spin for Fun Podcast. Hold on for one second. Um, I'm Kirsten, also known as Knit and Spin for Fun on Alvary, and this is um, another special episode. So this special episode is a book review, and the book review that I'm reviewing this week is Spin Art by J.C. Boggs. And sorry for the poor, poor lighting, it's because I'm recording in my room at night times, like around 6.30 and it's, get, it's getting dark earlier, so sorry about that. But anyways, um, so I'm going to review Spin On by J.C. Boggs, and so I guess I can just get to it. So, um, this is a fantastic book for if you want to learn on how to um, spin art yarn because I know that I know that spinning art yarn can be kind of um, tense and everything because you have to make your singles right and all this type of stuff, ratios, blah blah blah. But anyways, but this book really explains a lot on um, how to do different techniques and stuff and it also comes with a DVD in the back. See and again, I'm recording on a new camera, and it's, and it's like backwards and stuff, and so I had to do stuff too, so sorry about that if I'm like adjusting everything, but anyways. So it also comes with a DVD and back, like I just said, and um, this book was made by Interweave, and I can just, hold on, I'm kind of getting confused here, but anyways, um, again, J.C. Boggs, that's the author, um, she made a DVD like a while back ago, maybe in 2009, um, like in a very, another art yarn DVD, it's like self-taught and everything, and it's kind of wild and everything, doesn't want to make you want to do um, art yarn, but for this book, you really want to make art yarn, the photography is great, you can see all the different types of art yarns and everything, and it's very clear instructions, and so I guess I can just review it a little bit more. So, when you open up the book, it again, this tells you what the um, book is going to be about, and also has the table of contents and everything. That's very helpful. And then, it also goes through, again, the introduction of the book, just like any other book. And then she has a... Um, say title in here and it's called Equipment and Supplies and I thought that this was very helpful because when you're spinning art yarn you don't know really you don't know the supplies that you need yet you don't know like basically anything like you don't know what type of uh, woolly winder you need you don't know what type of flyer you need you don't know any t you don't know anything if you're a new spinner or a new art yarn spinner and I am a new um, art yarn spinner. I've been um, regular spinning for like four years now or something like that so I know how to spin everything but I never really spun art yarn. So anyways she just goes through the equipment like orifices and guides and tension like when you are spinning art yarn tension is the best thing that you can have like it's the main thing like really if you're like making a single, you don't want too much twist, you need the right tension and everything, so I thought that was helpful, and she also explains that right there, and there is also a picture of the art yarn, and then she goes through tips and techniques and all that stuff, and she explains that in, a, in the DVD, and um, the DVD, she says that every type of spinning yarn is a art yarn, like not art yarn but it's a art and I thought that was like very um, true because when, when you are spinning a yarn it is art basically you are spinning something that you are creating so I thought that was like very um, nice that she said that because when you are spinning like something new and you're getting very stressed out and everything that you don't like oh my goodness I don't know how to apply co uh, with coils and everything so I thought that was a very good um, part that she put in the DVD. Then she has parts in the book, like this is part one's um, single techniques, and she just goes through again like um, how many wraps per inch, on, and then she also goes through um, what type of singles you can do, like this is called racing stripe, 
And she goes through auto wrap. And then tornado. And this goes on and on and on. And then she has another chapter about like how to do core spinning and everything. And she also puts like, um, as you can see here, like pictures of her spinning on the wheel. So you get the DVD and you also get the pictures in the book as well. So I thought that was nice. And then she just, again, it's a very awesome book. I really recommend it. And then there's also another um, chapter in here called Bumps. And I thought this was kind of interesting because when you are, um, hold on, let me fix my screen here. When you are making a yarn, and sorry about if you see a stain because I just ate dinner and I accidentally spilled on myself and I feel like changing, but anyways, um, there is a chapter in here called Bumps. And I thought this was interesting because when you are spinning an art yarn, bumps is like basically the main thing you need to know. And um, so I thought that was a very cool chapter. It goes through on how to prep your fiber. It's just like very easy. And like I want to do a thick and thin single. This is just like my next um, spinning experience. I want to do a thick and thin single. As you can see, this is a section called thick and thin. Let me hold it back here. And um, I want to do some coils out of it. So I really love this book. I just, again, really love it. And I did get this book for my birthday. So, And again, and then she goes through beehives. And then in chapter four, she goes through like foreign objects. And I was like looking through the book and the DVD when she was explaining this. I'm like, foreign objects. Or is it foreign objects? Yeah, for Gina. Uh, for you, I can't say anything tonight. Sorry, guys. I'm really tired, and it's late. Not really, not late, but I'm really tired. I just got off of school and whatnot, so this is how it's going to be. So, she goes through, like, stringing sequences and stuff, and so I thought that was very interesting, and it's just like, wow, you can actually use sequences and felted bumps for stuff, so... I thought it was very interesting. And then for part two, I thought, because there's a part one of the book and there's like little chapters and there's part two of the book and there's little chapters. And that's, I like how she made the book like that because you get all the information in your mind at once. So in part two, she explains how to ply your art yarn. And I thought, and when I watched the DVD, I'm like, she makes it look so easy. And then when you go and do it yourself, doesn't it's not that much, it's not really easy. So, I just love it how she does it. Again, she goes through bumps. She goes to how to apply singles, how to do super coils, how to do regular coils, how to do... And again, she has, um, what I also like in here is a free single, um, let's say... Every single section in the book, like every single like different type of spinning, she has a little section called wheel setup. And I don't want to give any information away, but as you see, wheel setup, right? Oh, right there. And um, I thought that was very interesting because you don't really know on how to set up your wheel if you're a first time um, art yarn person. So, and then she just goes through, like, more and more applying and all different types of stuff. And the DVD, I would say, is about two hours long. You can watch it maybe in the, in the afternoon or something, but this is what the DVD looks like. I'll just take it out of the package. I like how the cover is of it. It's just like the cover of the book. So, I really like it. And I really recommend this book because it's really an awesome book. I really, really like it. Um, I like. I just really like him. It really wants me to. Really wants me to um, spin some art yarn. So that was the book review for today. Um, if you liked it, please like it. And if you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. Uh, also subscribe at the top. 
I have weekly videos every week, and I have a podcast every week, and I record that on Sundays. So this video right here might go up tonight, or it might go up maybe later tomorrow evening. So yeah, and go and check out Spinart. I think it's still on sale at Nitpicks. That's where I got mine. I got this like a few weeks ago, so it might not be on sale yet, but still on sale. But please come and check it out. I really, really like it, and so yeah. And I think if you are a beginner spinner, I don't recommend this, but if you're a beginner, um, what is it called? Art Yarn Spinner. I really recommend this book, so I hope you enjoy this little episode. Not a real episode, but little um, the review. And again, please subscribe at the top and like down below. It will really help me out a lot. So, again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this little book review. And go ahead and check out this book. It's a great book. And again, it's by J.C. Boggs. So, hope you um, like this, and take care. Bye-bye.